Hi there, once again, welcome to Adiotech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about data consolidation in Excel. This is basically going to help you a lot in order to create a master summation for all your worksheets. So basically, what we need to do is that we're going to add, we're going to add source in a different worksheet into another worksheet. So I have one, two, and up to three and we're going to add them so data consolidation allows you to gather together your data from a separate worksheet into a master worksheet so these are the three we're going to add in this tutorial so remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos if you are new also and you enjoy this tutorial, remember to hit the like button as well so let's see how this is going to work so we have this three first of all i'm going to take you through something called 3d sum so basically 3d sum allows you to add one two three into a different work sheet so we'll look at the disadvantage and then we'll go and we'll, we'll look at the disadvantage and then from there we'll look at the data consolidation let's see the static data consolidation and also the dynamic okay so let's jump right into action in order to use the 3d sum you need to make sure that your data that you want to add they all start from the same they all start from the same source so in order to use the 3d sum you need to make sure your data you're going to sum all start from the same source so if this is our first workbook the first worksheet starting from c3 the data summation of the data will start from c3 the second one is also starting from c3 and then the third one is also starting from c3 so this is the prerequisite worksheet where we have the 3d sum and then that one is also going to be displayed at what c3 again so you, the summation is also going to start for, from C3. So if you don't go this way, it will not work. So this is one of the disadvantage. If you don't go as the data is being arranged in your cell, it will not work. So in order to go with the 3D sum, let's say equal to sum. So this is all we need. So the cell will display the 3D sum like your cursor needs to be blinking. You go to the first one, and then you have to just select what where you're going to start your data from. And in order to add the rest, the remaining two to get our 3D sum. We have to hold down shift and click on the worksheet tray this way and then hit enter the minute you hit enter it's going to add the three so c3 that's 45 plus 30 plus what 88 and it's going to give you the sum at what c3 in our third in our fourth worksheet where we want to get our master worksheet so when we drag to get for the rest, we just have to drag this across and then it's going to give us the rest okay okay i think it ends over here so it ends over so if you check our data that is from january all the way up to april so we have one two three four so we have what four columns if you drag it back it's going to give you the records for the other side so this is also going to end over here so basically this is how the 3d sum is going to work and we're going to see in very soon very soon we're going to see the disadvantage of the 3d sum okay so it's been able to add the record from every cell so if you go to it's going to add what 53 over here to 65 over here to what, 76 and it's going to display the record over here if you add this for yourself you see that this is basically going to work as expected but let's see what is going to happen if i change the position of my data and see what is going to happen with what our 3d sum okay so i'm going to select this entire table i'll select this entire table and then drag it to a different place select this one also and also drag it down a bit and let's go back to our 3d sum and see what is going to happen you can see there's no summation it's just displaying the record for what it's just displaying the record for one that's the last one okay so our summation and everything has been distorted it's just displaying the record for one so the summation is no more working but we can resolve this issue using what the consolidation data consolidation so let's go to this cell and see how we can use the data consolidation so with data consolidation we don't need to have the cell and everything within the same what the same position in order for that to work so let's go to the static one so we're going to i'm going to explain how the static one is going to work and then we'll look at the dynamic one that's the linked one so for this to work you can just select your first cell over here and then all you need to do is to go to what data you go to the data tab and then you go to what they consolidate so you click on consolidate 
remove this source over here we're going to remove this over here for now and then we're going to sum so we'll leave our function as it is and what we need to do is that we're now going to add our reference so i'll select my first reference so i'll select my first reference when i click on it i'll go to my first and i just select my entire table and then i'll come down here click on this small arrow then click on add once you are done we come to the third the second one as well we select that one as well we come down here and click on add and finally we come towards the third one select the entire cell and then click on add once we are done you see use label as in so we can use the table the labels at the top if you want to include them if you want to include those table and then for now we're not going to what create the links for now the link will be at the dynamic one and i just have to click on ok so let's see what is happening now this is the static consolidate it has actually added the entire worksheet added everything separately so it added what 60 45 in cell 1 30 in cell 2 and what 88 in cell 3 and then sum it up and it repeated the same thing for the rest so if you look at this is having 28 for april april for caleb 28 we come to the second one april 28 again for caleb and then for well, the last one 28 if you sum all this is going to go 155 five. okay so you can try that and see so once okay so this is a dynamic one so that's going to give you 88 sorry so that's going to give you 88 for the data consolidation so as you can see it has generated everything for us for the static data consolidation okay so if you check you can randomly check any figure and then add so we take a pro for gene 74 plus 53 for the second worksheet and the third one which is 74 and it will give you the total over here 201 so that is a static data consolidation the reason why i said this is static is that if i go ahead and then update this data 45 or to 89 i'm expecting this to change over here and update my total i'm expecting this to update my total over here but it's not changing i'm still having a static record as i have even though I try to update my record in my table. We expected this to work, but this is not working. So this is also a drawback for the static data consolidation. So we're going to fall on the dynamic one, which is basically going to solve the issue for us. Okay. So let me zoom in a bit. Let me zoom in a bit, and then we will have to display this data, and let's see how this is basically going. Okay. So now we're going to look at the dynamic one and then anytime we make any change to the table it's going to update our record for us the total the summation where we have our master our master worksheet so let's do the dynamic one and see how this is going to work so we'll come back here go back to our data tab and then go to our consolidate and over we're going to use the same reference so i'll go ahead and click on this arrow and then i'll come down here i'll come to my first worksheet select my entire data and then click the arrow and then i'll add it then i'll go to my second one select my entire data again add go to my final data select everything and what add so the next thing we want to do is let's still display the top the label for the top we'll display everything and then we're going to create create links to source data so this is basically going to make everything dynamic when i click ok you can see the records has been displayed for us so this is a dynamic one if you take note if you take note you go to the static this is what 163 when i went back to update this record it's still what 163 but the dynamic one is working over here it has updated the entire record so if i go back here and i change this to 100 and i come back to my dynamic we should see update you can see everything has been updated let's modify this one so we're going to check Caleb and then update April the last value for April for Caleb so we'll go here this Caleb so let's change this to 50 and then let's check the second one also to 50 the third one to also 50 so we should be expecting 150 okay and our dynamic so and then as you can see we are getting exactly as we want you can see we have some plus and other things displayed over here at the far left corner 
that is going to show you the summation of the two the three different worksheets so if i click on this you can see that it's, it's showing me some values over here so you see that the updates i made for the first which is 100 the update i made for the second that's for jane the update i made for any of them is shown over so this one two three for the rest so if you come here you can see this is now 100 this is 46 and this is what it is so everything has been updated for us so this is you pick gen everything here it's working perfectly if you try for the rest you see everything updated accordingly okay so this is how to use the dynamic consolidation or basically you can say linked link consolida consolidation and it's basically going to help you a lot so you've been able to sum the record in both uh, the three different worksheets and then upgraded them into one and we saw how the drawback the drawback of our 3d sum and i also see the disadvantage of our static anytime we're making the change to our smaller tables it doesn't update in our static table but the dynamic is basically working for us perfectly and anytime we make any change in any of these cells over here it's going to update in our master cell as well thank you so much for enjoying this video. if you love please share with friends and also remember to hit the like button if you are new subscribe and then wait for more from Agiotech. we have more coming up and in order not to miss them you need to subscribe so that you keep enjoying free tutorial from Agiotech. We're going to be doing more of a project based tutorial and it will not be long from now. So we know not to miss that. Subscribe and then keep visiting our YouTube. So like come your way another time. Bye bye.